Hi everyone, this is week 16 of pregnancy, your 10 minute core workout. And today we'll be focusing a little bit on the glutes too. This is just a reminder to subscribe if you haven't already so you know when our workouts are coming out. And let's get started. What you'll need is a mat and some open space around you. And we'll start lying on our backs. And just a note, in the second trimester they generally say avoid exercising lying on your back. If you're feeling fine, not dizzy, not faint, this should be okay for short periods of time. However, if you do suffer from high blood pressure or you know that lying flat on your back really doesn't make you feel well and you've been advised against it, don't attempt these exercises. And you actually can still do them with your upper back supported on a couch. But for those joining us today, you'll lie on your back. And we're going to start with a bridge sequence. So make sure your hips, uh, your feet rather, are hip distance apart. Give that pelvis a few rocks just to mobilize that spine. Before we begin, settle into your neutral spine position. We do have a video on this. For those who are not sure, open that chest, push shoulder blades down into the mat. Tuck that pelvis round that spine, flatten that back and lift the hips up to the ceiling and we're going to pulse down just to hover off the mat and then squeeze up down and up so what we're really focusing on is that upward movement where we squeeze those buttock or those glute muscles down and up squeeze try to make sure there's still a little bit of tension in those abdominals and you're not completely letting all of that go. And up, we've got three more. And two. Last one, we're going to hold our hips up here. Try to keep them on the same level as much as possible as you walk one foot out, other foot out, and then back in. So what you'll want to do is drop the hips and let them move quite a lot to make that movement easier. But what I would like you to do is try to keep those hips still, keep them lifted, keep squeezing those glutes as you walk in and out. And if this is a bit too difficult for you or too challenging, at the moment, then just hold a bridge position and you can pulse here. Four more walks. Squeeze those hips up. Three. It's really small walks forward. Last one. Before you come all the way down, think about coming down slowly to the mat. Laying your back down from the top of the spine to the bottom, one segment at a time. And just give those hips a little bit of a rock. You should feel those glutes burning just a little bit. We're going to keep working on them as we take those hips back up into that bridge position. Tuck that pelvis, flatten that back, before you start to lift hips and spine off the mat, one segment at a time. Now keep those hips up there as you lift. One leg up and bring it back down. Other leg up, bring back down. So you'll notice that I'm not slamming my foot back down into the mat, but it's a really controlled lower. Once again, a modification is just lifting the heels in this position, if it's a bit much to get that entire foot off of the mat. And lift. Four more. Three. Two. 
to one and then lay that spine back onto that mat nice and slowly give those legs a quick hug releasing those glutes because we're going through that sequence from the beginning one more time so feet hip distance apart get into your neutral spine position where we have a natural arch into that low back some of you may feel a space here some of you may not and that is just based on individual bodies exhale try to flatten those ribs and then lift those hips up to the ceiling we start with 10 pulses down and up two three remember squeezing those glutes at the top of that movement breathe four more two more last one hold it up there and we walk out out in in or you're holding and pulsing always do exercises at your own pace especially when you are pregnant we try to avoid overheating and overexerting. So make sure that you're drinking water, remaining hydrated, and not pushing yourself too hard. Push yourself to a challenging level, but not to a level that leaves you sick, and unwell, dizzy, and too sore afterwards. Last one. And back. Quick little break. Shake those legs out, last bridge movement, bring those hips up and we've got alternate knee lifts. Up, squeeze, six more. Sometimes it helps to push the arms into the mat too. Last two, and one, and peel that spine back down onto the mat. Give those knees a bit of a hug, and swing those hips, or rotate those hips round in circles for a few seconds before we come up. So now switching positions, I want you to get into an all fours position. So that is on your hands and knees. Hands are underneath shoulders, knees are underneath hips. Take a few seconds to rock that pelvis forward and back. So pelvic tilts. Gradually reduce the size to find your neutral spine position. Zip up or pull up into those abdominals to provide you with some stability. We're going to lift one leg up, opposite arm. So we'll start with these movements, just alternating. I want you to try not let your weight shift too much as you lift that arm and leg. One more each side. Try not to let lower back arch as the leg lifts up. We're now going to stay on one side and lift up, and then bring that arm and knee in. Up and in. Just eight in side, eight each side. Four, three, two, last one. Recenter. Make sure you're in that neutral spine. Push out of those shoulders, abdominals tense as we go into the other side. Lift and in. Four more. Keep both hips facing the mat. Three, two, 
one and relax getting the weight off of those wrists and inhale exhale because that is the end of your 10 minute workout for week 16 and just a reminder to subscribe if you haven't already and leave any questions in the comments below see you again later this week with another workout